Are blueberries good for dogs? Well, if you don't know the answer to that question, then you need to hang out with me and Eli for the next five minutes because blueberries aren't just a run-of-the-mill superfood. They are literally a clinically proven dietary supplement that slows down aging and fights disease. And by the way, if you want free raw and cooked recipes you can make at home, just check out the link in the description for more details. They're all complete and balanced and they meet AFCO nutritional requirements. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Now, until the 90s, blueberries were mostly just used to make Eggos and muffins a little tastier. But in 1996, Tufts researcher James Joseph tested different fruits and veggies to measure their antioxidant abilities, and no other fruit scored higher than the blueberry for its antioxidant properties. Since then, the little blueberry has gotten a lot of attention from scientists and claimed true superfood status. Okay, now to understand why blueberries are a big deal, you need to know how your dog ages and gets sick. Over time, toxins and metabolic byproducts build up in your dog, and these substances are called reactive oxygen species or free radicals. Now, when free radicals build up in large amounts, they harm your dog's cell membranes and even his DNA. This is a major cause of age-related diseases such as diabetes, arthritis, and kidney disease. And of course, the damage to DNA leads to cell mutations and cancers. Now, the biggest problem with free radicals is that they're thieves. They steal electrons from neighboring molecules, and when an electron is stolen from that molecule, it's called oxidation. And if the oxidized molecules don't find a new electron, then they become new free radicals. The result is a cascade of free radicals. Billions of new free radicals can react every single second. And if they're left unchecked, then free radicals build up really quickly in the body, just like a toxic rust. Now, this is especially true for older dogs who are more vulnerable to the effects of oxidative stress. And to make matters worse, your dog's immune system has no protection against free radicals. The only way to control them is through his diet. Enter the blueberry. Now, blueberries are super, super rich in antioxidants, which are special molecules that stop free radicals from damaging neighboring cells. They do this by lending electrons to the free radicals, which stops that dangerous cascade of stealing electrons from their neighbors. Literally, it slows down the aging and disease process. Now, there's a lot of different antioxidants, but the one on blueberries is kind of unique because it can cross the blood-brain barrier. Now, stay with me because this is important, especially if your dog is older. The brain uses more oxygen than any other body tissue, and this makes the brain and nervous system really, really vulnerable to oxidative stress. Now, blueberries contain a powerful antioxidant called anthocyanin, and this is what gives them their blue-red color. And they contain more anthocyanin than any other food. So what does this mean for your dog? First, it just flat out slows down aging and wear and tear. Researchers found that dogs who ate blueberries were much better protected against oxidative stress than those who didn't. And a study on humans shows that they can slow down tumor growth, prevent mutations, and decrease chronic inflammation. But blueberries especially love the brain. Researchers at Tufts University in Boston fed rats blueberries for just two months. And the rats eating blueberries performed way better at memory and maze tests than the control group. And this is cool. When the researchers looked at the rats' brains, they literally found blueberry pigments in there. They were blue. Now, human studies show children do better on cognitive stress tests after eating blueberries. They show that dietary blueberry improves cognition in older humans. And another study showed that dogs eating blueberries were less likely to suffer from cognitive dysfunction. And one study showed that pro-inflammatory genes in aged rats were reduced to the levels of young rats. This is probably why wolves load up on blueberries in the summer. They're delicious and they're a superfood. Now, if your dog isn't getting blueberries most days, he's missing out on all these benefits. All you need to do is add a few to his bowl every day. Most dogs love the taste of blueberries, but if your dog is picky, you can just sprinkle some blueberry powder on his food instead. Give about a quarter of a teaspoon of powder for a medium-sized dog. And the type of blueberries matters too. Wild blueberries are richer in anthocyanin than cultivated blueberries, and that's why they're often darker in color. They have more of this pigment. Now, if you have any questions in general or about dog food or dog food ingredients, make sure you leave a comment below. We're always here to help out. And if you like this video, please like it, 
share it and tell people about it. Thanks for watching.